Today, we are going to study the photoelectric effect. Uh, this is a theory discovered by Albert Einstein. And Einstein is famous for his theory of relativity. However, he did not receive the Nobel Prize for the theory of relativity. He received the Nobel Prize uh, for his theory of photoelectric effect. In this theory, well, the significance of this, this the photoelectric effect is basically uh, he proved that light behave like particles rather than light. Okay, so let's. Um, go to a little bit of detail about the photoelectric effect. The first thing I would like you to know would be this. Okay. Uh, the photoelectric effect. Okay. The word photo means light. It's an old-fashioned word for light. And electric means electricity. Okay. So photoelectric, it basically means um, light and electricity. Okay. It connects, well, the uh, it connects the relationship between light and electricity. So, uh, for instance, okay, uh, we have solar panels t today, okay. and uh, perhaps one of the, f the first uh, solar panels okay, are constructed at the uh, yeah, are constructed and discovered by Albert Einstein, and he used it in his experiment. Okay. Now. What he discovered, let me make it simple first. We will, we will go through the detail of his uh, experiment later. But in the meantime, okay, let me explain it briefly. Okay. We have a metal there. Any kind of metal will do. Okay. Now, if I shine, light rays on it. Okay. What Einstein discovered was somehow okay, when a metal is on the light ray, somehow okay, the light ray bombards the electrons okay, out. Okay. So the electrons on the surface of the metal flies away. They just they, they fly away. Okay, and what he did, well and what's happening is, okay, if we connect wires around the metal, okay, so we have when we connect wires around the metal, we have electrons moving. Okay, so electrons, uh, yeah, move from here to the other end and uh, coming back like this. So when we have moving electrons means we have a current. Okay. Say if uh, the electron moves in this way, then we have current generated in the opposite direction. So this is photoelectric effect. Okay. Now what Einstein did, okay, what he did was Let's put it in a simple, simple manner. What he did was, okay, he shines different light okay, on the metal, and measures the current and the voltage of the electricity they produced. Okay. So, um, and he made some very significant discovery. Okay. So before we understand his discovery, let's define voltage first. Okay. Voltage and current. 
Okay. So voltage uh, is basically is related to okay, the kinetic energy. Okay, basically, it is the energy. Okay, let me write it down uh, like this. It's related to the energy uh, of carried by electrons. Okay. In this case, it would be the kinetic energy carried by electrons. Okay. So the idea was uh, say if I have a 2 volts battery, then I have a 10 volts battery. Okay. When I put it in a circuit, okay, the electrons in the circuit of 10 volt battery okay, would have more energy. Okay. The higher the voltage means there's more energy carried by uh, each electron. Let's put it this word in each electron. Okay. So okay, so now let's talk sorry. Now let's talk about current. So current uh, is a measure is the measure of the flow rate of electron. Okay. But since electron moves at a constant rate, it, electricity is not... When we have high uh, current, it means we have... Uh, it doesn't mean that electricity moved faster okay, because electricity has a constant velocity in the wire. So it means uh, we have number... Sorry, we have more number of electrons moving. Okay, to, yep, we have more non current is basically uh, the number of um, electrons moving okay, that are moving. Yep. When we have high current, it means we have more number of electrons moving. Okay, now let's go back to uh, to Einstein's experiment here. Okay. So what I so what he did was okay, when he discovered this fascinating uh, behavior of light and electrons, okay, uh, he tried to do this experiment and try to shine different light on the metal. Okay. Um, What he did was, okay, first, he shines different intensity of light on it. Okay. He uses higher intensity and lower intensity. Okay. Then he uses different frequencies light on it. Okay. Just like what we did, uh, what you will do in your, in your experiment. And before he did the experiment, okay, he tried to make some predictions what would happen. Okay. Just remember, uh, back then, around 100 years ago, okay, when Einstein did this experiment, okay, light is explained as waves. Okay. From Young's double split experiment, all, everyone, all the scientists, they believe that light was light are waves. Okay. So when light behave waves, behave like waves, okay, this would happen. Okay. So when light rays is in contact with electrons, what's happening is electrons are absorbing energy from the wave. And in order to do that, it takes time. So there will be a time delay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
sun, the electron will be able to escape. Okay. Ex especially for low intensity of light, okay, the electrons will escape uh, with with less speed, okay, with less kinetic energy. Because um, yeah, because the the light, the incoming light, has low in intensity. However, with high, just due to prediction, okay, with high intensity of light, okay, there there will be less time delay, but there is still going to be a time delay because um, electron needs time to absorb energy from a from a wave. Okay. But with higher electron, uh, sorry, higher intensity, so electrons will be able to absorb more energy, and the uh, electron will be able to um, escape with more kinetic energy. Okay, so just a reminder okay, to the voltage. Okay. So. Uh, the energy that the electron carries is basically the voltage. So when Einstein do this experiment, he predicts that okay, initially he will have higher, well, he will have lower voltage okay, and higher voltage. Okay. Now, also by the prediction of wave model, When we have high frequency, okay, um, when we have high frequency of light, okay, boom, um, shining on a metal, okay, there will be no effect, okay, because regardless of the frequency, okay, uh, regardless of the frequency of the wave, higher frequency or lower frequency, okay, uh, the wave carries the same amount of energy to yeah okay just uh, yeah, because uh, the energy carried in a wave it really depends on the amplitude not the frequency the frequency doesn't matter so uh, Einstein believed that initially if he shines same uh, about different frequency of light on, on it there will be no effect at all However, in reality, it doesn't happen. Okay. The wave model prediction failed. Okay. So in reality, okay, what happened was when I shine low intensity of light on the, um, on the metal, okay, I have less current. Einstein had less current, and the current is the measurement of the number of electrons. So low intensity has less electrons escaped. Okay, and the high intensity of light makes more electron escape. So the voltage, as pre the voltage doesn't change as predicted by wave model. What happened? Change was ha uh, the current changes. Okay. So this is the first thing that is, yeah, current changes. That are, uh, yeah, that's discovered. Okay, so when we use different frequencies okay, on this experiment, okay, um, what's happened is with high frequency, okay, we can find electron escape. Okay, yeah. 
and uh, the voltage increases. Okay. Basically, somehow, if I use high frequency, okay, the energy carried by each electron increased. Okay. So, the kinetic energy increases. Okay. As a result, the voltage would increase. So when we lo use low um, frequency, okay, sometimes the electrons does not escape. Okay. If we use really, really sorry, if we use really low frequency of light, electrons does not escape, okay. and uh, therefore the voltage will be lower. The voltage is zero, so it's lower. So what he discovered, in other words, is uh, frequency is proportional to the voltage. And uh, if the frequency is too low, there won't be any escaping electrons. Okay, so frequency is proportional to the voltage, okay, basically the energy carried by uh, electrons. And if if the frequency is very low, okay, and no electron, no electrons will be will be able to escape. Okay. And this is just redefined the property of light. And uh, suddenly, okay, Einstein proved that light does not behave like a wave. Okay. At least light does not always behave like a wave. So light is not a wave. It just sometimes behave like a wave, and other times it behave like particles. So we call this the particle model. Just remember that light are not particles, they just behave like particles. So they have, and sometimes they behave like waves, sometimes they behave like particles. And even today, we have no idea what is exactly is light. But uh, yeah, since Einstein discovered this, Einstein has the privilege to name uh, this. So what he did is he named light particles as photons. So when light behave like particles, we can understand that uh, they are little particles called photons, and uh, they has a mass of zero kilogram. So it's a massless particle. It's a particle, but doesn't have any mass. And uh, it is basically known to the, it is, it was basically the smallest uh, particle ever discovered because it doesn't have any mass. Yep. So yes, yeah, that's the same, yeah, that's how yeah, that's basically Einstein's finding explained in photoelectric effect, explained in a simple manner. Okay. Now, the important thing for the test, for the exam, okay, so you need to know this, okay, and you need to know these two tables. Okay. You need to know that photoelectric effect okay, uh, proved that light behave like particles and why? Because wave model failed. Okay, I need to add one more thing to it. So remember we, we mentioned time delays? Okay. So when, when it's in particle model and in reality, okay, 
there is no time delay founded by uh, in the experiment. Well, there's no significant time delay. Okay, so the time delay is due to collision, not uh, it's not like a part, uh, a electron absorbing energy from a wave. Okay, because when something absorbing energy from a wave, it took longer time, but there's no time delay um, recorded or or discovered. Okay, so. Yep, yep, that's, that's it, okay. And in the next video, we're going to do some calculations. Basically, okay. since Einstein discovered that light behave like particles, and uh, there is something called photon, which is a small particle of light. Okay. So we can, yep, this is a whole new area of understanding physics. Okay. Uh, back then, remember this was discovered like a hundred years ago. If you if we look at uh, Wikipedia, uh, if you look at the Wikipedia, wave particle majority is nineteen oh eight. It's more than a hundred years ago. Okay. So. And back then, it was it was uh, a huge thing in the scientific uh, scientific world. So, and after that, uh, yeah. So he's yeah, okay. Anyway, I talk about that later. But in the uh, in the meantime, let's go to the next video.